So we have the following picture. One mass, or one total momentum was 650 kilogram meters per second. I've just arbitrarily, this is no convention, just represented the momentum by a little circle, a little disk or something. Uh, and that doesn't really have any significance. But the second object has a momentum of negative 535 kilogram meters per second, a slightly smaller momentum than the first, as shown by the slightly shorter arrow and the slightly smaller uh, disk. Now, if we take the total momentum, then the total momentum is the sum of all the momenta, summation sign of momentum uh, indicates the sum of all the momenta, and if we add these together, we clearly see that we have 115 kilogram meters per second, and that's positive, the positive being greater than the negative. Well, after collision, this tells us that we're going to have 140 kilogram mass. This is the two momenta combined as one. Uh, th that momentum will be confined to an, or, or, or reside in an object of mass 140 kilograms. Uh, the 65 kilograms and the 75 kilograms of the two players will add up and make 140 kilogram mass with a total momentum that's equal to the momentum that we had before. That is, total momentum is still 115 kilogram meters per second because by the impulse momentum theorem there's no change in total momentum from the fact that the two forces by Newton's third law exert equal and opposite forces on one another we conclude from the impulse momentum theorem that the total momentum is going to be 115 kilogram meters per second. Which means that if V is the velocity after collision, then MV after collision is going to be 115 kilogram meters per second. Well, the mass is 140 kilograms. Multiplied by V is going to give us 115 meters per second, and we see that we can easily determine V. If we divide 115 by 140, we get something that's a little less than 6 sevenths. Uh, that's going to give us uh, something like uh, a little over 0.8 probably, or around 0.8 meters per second. So you see that we've used the idea that the total momentum remains constant before and immediately before and immediately after collision. There's no change. And we've used that with the assumption that the masses stick together, giving us the 140 kilograms to determine the velocity of the two masses immediately after collision.